Hey, babe, why is the awning topper bumping like that? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Now, the first time this happened, we thought that it was probably a loose motor, so we took off the motor housing cover. You don't need to do it, but you know us saying how we're here anyway. We're going to show you how it comes off, just in case you ever need to access your motor. Six screws, all right here, and then it'll be one here and one here. You take them out, and you can disconnect it. Comes off that easy. That there is your motor. Now, the reason we had taken the cover off is we thought maybe the motor was loose, which would have made sense the way that it was working. Um, as you can tell though, that motor's on there pretty tight. While we're here, if for some reason your button does not bring your awning back in, this is where you disconnect it, at least on the Carefree of Colorado awning anyway. And you would take a 12 volt source, plug it into there to retract it. All right, so, but what we found out after we did all of this the first time was the problem lies Look at that. Look at the arm. I look at right here. What the motor does is the motor spins its arm right here into this cap, which turns the awning in or out, whatever it needs to do. There's a cap on the other side too. But check out the screw. You can tell that it's been wearing. So what we did the first time was I just tightened them and it worked fine. And then it started getting loose again. <laughs> so I was talking with my friend Brandon from RV Traveling with Six. He told me that he ended up just throwing in a couple of screws other than the two that are already in here. I mean, that's that's a lot of power for just two screws. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put in two more. So there'll be like one at 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock or thereabouts. We're gonna do this side and we'll do the other side too and see if we can't put an end to the arm wobble. So first things first, we're gonna tighten it and put it back where it should be so that it goes straight again. I would not over overly tighten. I would make sure it's tight, but not overly tight because uh, it's just aluminum that it's going into. So I'm just gonna do the one down here on the bottom too. And like I said, that should take care of the problem right now, but it's gonna come back, obviously, because it did. I know if you're gonna add screws, and mind you, we're not professionals. We're not saying this is the way to do it, <laughs> but see how the screw is off to the edge here? In other words, you don't want to put it dead in the center because if you look in here, you may miss the roll and just hit all end cap, which you don't really want to do. Nope. All right, and I am using number 10 by three quarter self-drilling screws. What this means is you don't need a pilot hole because it's self-drilling and self-tapping. All you're gonna need is a drill going right to here. That's slow so it doesn't run all over the place on you. Okay, we're through the outer cap. Now we're going into the roller itself. And there we go. All right. Now we're going to move the roller so we can get to the other side. Again, do not over tighten. All right, let's put the motor housing cover back together now. All right, so we're going to put the cover back over the motor. Keep in mind, I left the six screws in place. There's still two more, and I know where they are. So <laughs> the other end goes on first. Fit it right on. And then what I do is I just play with this until I get the screws where they belong. Grab the screwdriver. Get a little height. Now mind you, you may have to play with it if you didn't get them all lined up. And don't worry about it being floppy. That's what those final two screws will take care of. One's going to go right here. And the other one will go right here. <laughs> Did you like that, huh? Nice <laughs> I didn't even realize it was still on there. Now let's move to the other side of the awning and put two screws in there. All right, last one. Now let's roll this up and see whether we've taken care of that wobble for good. Wow, look how smooth that is. It sounds a lot better too. Yeah.
Very nice. All right, well, that's how Cheryl and I took care of the wobble arm on our Carefree of Colorado awning. <laughs> That's the way that we did it, and ours is working fine. Again, we're not saying that it's right. We are not professionals. <laughs> but if you guys like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up. As always, you want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone with this gang, right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. And after you do that, click the bell. You'll be notified every time we put a video out. Also, want to keep up with everything we're doing and where we are, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. If you have any questions or comments, you can put it right down below, or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back, we always do. Till our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. Bye.